So for the edit task, we are to create another class called user that we inherit from base model. Then this user class will only have four class attributes: email, password, first name, and last name. And all of them should be set to empty string. And we will have to update our file story to be able to to realize and this realize user and update the command interpreter to allow these other methods to be used on user. So So inside my model directory, already created user. So is it, um, first I imported base model, created the class, and then initialized all the class attributes to empty strings, and then I had to go to file storage and then import user we have to import user here so that we can equally be able to serialize to store the user objects to store the user objects and then to be able to serialize them using the save method and the load method for the serializing again we go to console.py to update it so we go to console.py and we import the user the user class and then we have to go to create because right here in the create method the only thing that um, we are using here is base model so we have to update it in a way that First, that when we, uh, we have to add the user user class inside the valid classes. So, see here valid classes. We add the user alongside base model, and then we go back to do create. So what we want to do is that since this no longer involves just the base model, it involves more than one class. We have to modify this code in such a way that whatever class that is that we whatever class name that we get from the from the command line, we can be able to to change it, convert it to an instance of that class. So in other words, we are going to use eval because what eval does is if it takes a string, if a string is given to it, it takes the strings and try to convert it into a Python object. If it's a number, it converts it to an integer. If it's a string, it leaves it as a string. If it's Boolean, it converts it as a, as a Python Boolean object. So if, if the class that is coming in from the command line is, let's see, if You know the class is going to be the first the first index so what we do is we say the class name dot braces so what this is going to do is it's going to be like we are expecting like if it's, if it's user class that is coming in is going to be user user I add a dot. There shouldn't be a dot here. Pardon me. Should be this way, but it's going to come as a string from the command line. It's going to come as a string. So what eva evaluate is going to do is just to convert it into a Python object by, let's say, removing the the quotes. By so doing, it becomes a Python object. And we just created, it means we just created a new instance. So now that we've created a new instance, I think what I do here is just to 
change this to storage let's say we just save it and then we print it out what else um we're going to go to the let me see we go to base model.py and then you can see here i i changed a couple of things because i was running a test on on the on user and i i got to know that because of the way because of the logic of this constructor before initially this this was placed under here in an else statement something like this meaning that if um the keyword argument if the keyword argument is passed and eventually we get to this point it means whatever class that is coming in, like if is if since user inherits from base model if the user if the user class if if when creating an instance of the user class and uh, a couple of arguments we are passed to it so it's going to be updated but it doesn't create this self.id and most of these other ones so that's why i had to move it up there so that unconditionally regardless of the arguments that we are passed we will always have um, um, an attribute of self.id created that and updated that So in other words, even if we do have all this and created that was passed, so in other words, it's going to replace like, yeah, replace updated that and created that and then it's going to be stored. So that is it. So let's, well, again, for the user, we go to the test file, test models then open test user so we import unit test os models all this and then here it's just a setup for where to save the file this is a tear down for after testing the file you remove the part the file part so here we are testing the user attributes I'm going to put this in the description section so let's run this let's run the test first okay then of course we have to go to console let me close all this console.py mm, where is it this is my test so first let's run this test So you've created a new user and we have user again let's okay so let's open the file the json and see can see that we are able to create user user.id 
So what else are we testing? Let's see. can say create this model then if you also say create user then we are able to create the two 